Let's head over to the Beko kitchen. We are doing tofu today with Korean potatoes. Tofu, you either got to love it or you hate it. I'm a hater, but you will make it taste good, I'm sure. No pressure today. Yeah, yeah. No, no. <laughs> No, it's got it's got the usual uh, suspects. You know, we've got soy in there, honeys. We're going to make a nice uh, spicy chili glaze around it, so it's going to be packed full of flavour. And these beautiful Korean potatoes as well. So something a little bit different. Great as a little side dish. Yeah. So I thought we'll uh, showcase two vegetarian dishes for you today. So brilliant. Thank you so much, Mark. Or you have changed. Right, we are back in the Beko Kitchen with another vegetarian dish, Mark. And I've got to say, <laughs> more and more people I know are going vegetarian. They're going vegan. They're going meat free. They want to know what's in their food. So this is a great option for those that are vegetarian today. So it's tofu and potatoes. <laughs> <laughs> well, can you make it sound like that? No, but this is, this is going to be great. So, so there are going to be two separate dishes. Yeah. And, you know, it's great. I mean, you know, if you, you can roast the chicken, but you can do these potatoes on the side or do the tofu on the side Brilliant. as well, you know, or, or just eat it like that. It's great, you know. Vegetarian food doesn't need to be... Um, you know, it doesn't need to just be vegetables in a salad or right. a salad, you know. It can be exciting, it can be full of flavour. Well, it is exciting and full of flavour, you know. No, and that's a great way for those families that have different, you know, eating habits, I guess. So you can make yeah. something like this, everyone can enjoy the salad, and then you just add meat for those that like meat. So. Yeah. <laughs> Is that what you do at home? That's pretty much what I do at home. <laughs> yeah. Roast the chicken every day. Pretty much. Right, so we're going to start off with our potatoes. So we're going to get it in a pan. We've got these beautiful little uh, new season potatoes here. Yeah, I love new potatoes. So, um, you know, you can peel them if you want, but if you've got these potatoes like that, you know, leave the skins on them. Yeah. They're, they're, they're great. They're beautiful. Just make sure you give them a good wash first. And you're chopping them in half, so you want them about yeah, one so, centimetre squared-ish. Yeah, something like that. So just, um, you know, small ones just chop in half. Big okay. ones, you know, just, just make sure you get it sort of uniform um, uh, size so okay. it all cooks together, you know. Nice. Right, so we're just going to keep that over a medium heat okay. and then get a little bit of colour in there. And I've got some onion as well we're going to put in. Yep. So I'm going to leave this quite chunky, so I'll just take the roots off. Yum. And do you work with tofu much? You know, at your restaurant, O'Connell Street Bistro? Uh, no. Do you have tofu there much? <laughs> no. Oh, so you'll be, oh, no, you'll be quite into this then today, won't you? Well, it's just re recipe development for yeah. the new menu, maybe. Yeah, nice. <laughs> I don't uh, mind being the guinea pig, mate. <laughs> yeah, I'll give you a call. Yeah. Uh, right, so onions go in there now. Yep. And then you just so a little bit of colour on the potatoes. You know, the onions are going to go translucent again. And then there's a tip for you. If you hold it up to the light, when you can see through. That's <laughs> translucent. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. I'm giving Mark, so if you've seen yesterday's show, you'll know what that was all about. Go back, <laughs> go back and have a look at all the recipes that we've got and make some of them yeah. at home. And keep the favourite ones for summer. Okay, so... But, Onions, potato, yeah. what are you adding now? Uh, a little bit of garlic, so garlic. just slice that, you know, we're just getting the flavours in there now. Uh, you know, so it's a really fast, really rustic dish. Um, and then we've got some uh, ingredients. Once we've got a little bit of colour and we're at that stage, we're going to um, basically make a sauce around the um, potatoes. We're going to add extra water and that water is going to cook the potatoes. So when the potatoes are nice and cooked, all those flavours are going to be into it. It's going to reduce and it's going to have a nice glossy, um, you know, sauce around it. Okay, right. fantastic. Nice. Anything else we need to do now? Oh, I'm just, just waiting, waiting for you, Mike. <laughs> You're just waiting for me to cook the potatoes. <laughs> no, that's, that's good, actually. You know, yeah, I mean, you can go a little bit more colour on this um, if you want. You, okay. know, you, don't, you don't need to. Right, so I've got a little bit of sugar in here. If that goes in, you can stir that through. And then I've got some uh, honey. You know, and this is going to help with that sticky, sticky glaze. You know, and just yeah. really, really flavour these potatoes. And um, some soy sauce goes in there. Well, this is smelling incredible. Uh, and just while we're doing mm -hmm. this, the tofu, does it need to be out of the fridge at room temperature or can you leave it in the fridge while you're preparing No, no, this potatoes? is great. So you can just get, take it straight out of the packet. And oh, it's yeah, probably cool. better even if it's in the fridge or somewhere cool, just so it's a bit firmer. But that's going to be okay. on the second recipe. OK, cool. So a little bit of sesame oil goes in there as well. Oh, that smells good. And then I've got some water. So be quite generous with the water. It looks quite wet now, but we need to cook those potatoes. So we're going to bring it up to the boil. Yep. Boil it. We'll turn it down mm -hmm. and just cook the potatoes exactly like you would, you know, in a pot of boiling water. Brilliant. Um, you know, leave the lid off. So as it's simmering, it's reducing and these will be nice and glazed. And you'll see this a little bit later on in the show. And then all we're going to do is just finish it with some um, sesame seeds. And uh, we've got some sesame oil in there already. But if you want a little bit more just to heighten it, a little bit more oil, but those seeds to serve mm. and, and, you know, simple, tasty. It's great. Nice work. Well, we'll see the finished product soon. We'll also show you what to do with the tofu. OK, so our potatoes, our onions, our soy sauce and honey and everything else is brewing away here nicely. It smells incredible. So we're going to concentrate on the tofu now. Right, yeah. So for our second dish now, what we're going to do is we're going to cut these into nice chunks. OK, that's why you needed it firm. Yeah, so yep. to get the, get the firm uh, tofu. Nice chunks. I've got a pan in here. A little bit of oil goes in there. And now we're going to get some colour on the tofu. OK. 
Can you mount it too much? Will it hold its shape? It will hold its shape. Okay. If you get a nice firm one. Mm -hmm. So, nice heat. So we're going to fry it in the pan. And what we're looking for is a nice golden sort of caramelisation, you know, nice bit of crust that gives it a bit of texture, also help with the flavour. Okay. So, that goes in. You're not going to leave me in charge of that, are you? I am leaving you in charge oh, no. of that. Yeah, you haven't got a chair yet. <laughs> That's a good point. Right, and then we've got some spring onions, so I'm just going to chop them up, yep. and then we're going to start frying these as well in a sec. You know, I'm going to get a little bit of colour on there, so you can just... Um, have a wee check? Yeah, have a wee check, just see where we're at. You know, it's always, it's always a good idea to just sort of check one and see. You know, if you're getting, if you're getting a, a dark colour but uneven, you know, your pan's probably too hot, so you can turn it down a little bit. Is that enough, or do you want more? Uh, no, a little bit more. A little bit more? OK, so a little bit darker. OK, yeah, cool. a little bit darker. Right, so I've got some onions which we're going to fry off in a minute once we, once we get a nice colour. And then it's going to make a really quick sauce. So, same again, we've got some soy sauce in there, got some chilli flakes, so this is going to give us our spice. This is really good. Uh, yeah, we'll put all those in there. We like chilli. Yum. Uh, I don't mind the chilli anymore. I'm a little bit more... Yeah, <laughs> you've got no choice, really, have you? It's like Jesse and his coriander. Uh, sugar in there, yeah. bit of sesame oil in there. And I'm going to chop a little bit of garlic as well. That's going to go through the sauce. And then once we've got the colour, we're actually going to braise it in all this liquid as well. I'm going to put a splash of water in as well. It's hot. Now, I know you probably wanted this a little bit browner, but this is TV. We don't have all day. <laughs> yeah. no, that's that fine. Right? You know, yeah, Okay. Ooh. That's right. right. Garlic goes in the sauce. Give that stir around. Oh my god, this is so hard to turn. Should have got some tongs. <laughs> gonna make it too easy. You did a good job though. <laughs> Thank you. So I'm gonna put the uh, spring onions in now. Yeah. And what we want to do is we we want those to fry. We want to get those nice and sort of you know sort of brown and crispy almost. You know that's gonna help with the um, with the sauce and okay. give us that extra depth of flavour. So you don't mind them crispy because that's no, no, what no. I was gonna say. If I'd done this at home, then what happens is they burn, and I'm like, oh no, I suddenly. Well, cut. you've got to go just before it burns, so it's caramelised. Okay. And then it's not burnt. That's why you're here. Give me all the tips. <laughs> That's it, so, so and you can smell those onions now, so you get a great flavour from those onions. I've reserved a little bit um, of the green part of the onion, just for a bit of garnish at the very end, so we've got a nice bit of green colour in there, but this is going to give us the flavour. So you can see the potatoes, you know, they're taking on that beautiful soy, um, mm. you know, colour and flavour, and we're just going to keep cooking it. Once it gets reduced down, just want to use the tip of a knife, just see where your potatoes are at. If your potatoes are still hard and the sauce is reduced down, just keep adding a little bit of water. Yeah, because you can see these potatoes that are upturned here, the, the flavour's really soaking into them, and I guess that's going to give you that flavour oh, when you're eating it's this. It's fantastic. It smells right, good. So, so back to this sauce here. I'm just going to add some water in there as well, just so we've got some extra liquid. And you can see we're getting that nice colour on those spring onions now. OK, yeah, this is looking good. Good colour on the tofu. So flip it all around, and now we'll pop the sauce in here. And then just bring that up to the boil, turn it down, simmer it for about sort of five, ten minutes to get that nice beautiful glaze. All that flavour's going to go over the tofu, that's going to be glazed, the mm. potatoes are there. It's great. Yeah, Looking forward great. to this, actually. I know, it is smelling phenomenal. Everything's going and you'll see what the finished product looks like a little later on. And of course, you can actually get the full recipe and the ingredients at our website, thecafe.co.nz. Speaking of happy, this looks amazing, Mark. Well done. And I, taste I can't it. wait to taste it. What's on the menu tomorrow? Right, tomorrow we've got pan-fried pork dumplings with a mm. spicy Sichuan dressing. Yeah, man, that smells really delicious.